Hey guys, Knogart here. We're back today with a character deck profile. Today is Joey Wheeler, and as you can see, we have Guilford the Lightning as the ace card uh, instead of all the god cards that the other ones have. I think that was the idea because you also have to tribute three for this guy. And this guy actually does something, destroys every monster of your opponent when you summon him. So, yeah, as you can also see the extra deck with Flame Swordsman in front, his like uh, season one ace, but. We'll get to that later. So, started with Guildford the Lightning, and of course, next up is the Red Eyes Black Dragon. For the other high level monster, I have Jinzo and Fiend Mega Cyber. These are the cards that he got from Esparoba. Now, if you want, you can put in uh, the Legendary Fisherman and the Insect Queen, the cards he won from Weevil and Mako, but I don't think they fit this strategy of this deck very well, so I just didn't include them. So that's actually it for the high-level monsters. So I think it's the lowest high-level monster count out of any deck so far. That's why I think the deck flows so well. Uh, and then we have some of the iconic monsters. We have the Panther Warrior, Gifrid the Iron Knight, the Almighty X Raider, we have the Rocket Warrior, the Little Wingard, and then we have the trio of Alligator Sword, Baby Dragon, and Time Wizard. So uh, we will see later um, that the Baby Dragon actually has some synergies, if you want to call them that, with them. So that's that. And then we also have for the lower levels, we have Battle Warrior and the Swordsman of Landstar. Uh, yeah, I don't know why he runs those, but. Well, just always ro roll like the graceful dice with the landstar and you should be good so then we have copycat as the last one for those smaller guys and then some other monsters is the blue flame swordsman that he actually i don't know what season he plays it in i think it was in the oracalcos arc so then we have the Goblin Attack Force, some of the lesser known monsters we only used once, uh, Goblin Attack Force, Fiber Jar, and Necoman King. I think he only used this once. And lastly, we have the Command Knight for the monsters. So that's the monster lineup. Going for the spells, we already see at the top we have the scapegoats. And of course, if you play the scapegoats, you play the Scapegoat tokens. So the orange one is my favorite. Um, let me know what uh, scapegoat token you like the most. It's just orange is my favorite color. So this guy is the coolest. Anyway, spells. Obviously, scapegoat and DM staples. Everyone has those. So for Joey, it's just Pot of Greed, Grace, Monster Reborn. And that's actually it for the like generic ones and then he has a uh, giant grenade instead of like heavy storm or MST so that's the stables and then for the other spells we have question so if you don't know what this does it's, it's actually a really funny an old card um, if you activate this card from that point on your opponent is not allowed to check your graveyard anymore and then they have to guess what card is at the bottom of your graveyard so the first monster that actually went to the graveyard if they guess it right the monster gets vanished if they guess wrong it gets summoned so um, if you play with this for the first time obviously people won't memorize what cards in your grave most of the time so you can have some fun moments with this speaking of fun moments the most fun card in the deck is the dangerous machine type 6 so in each of your stamp phase you roll the die and then um, if you have a 1 you have to discard a card if you roll a 2 your opponent has to discard a card 3 you draw a card 4 your opponent draws a card 5 destroy a monster of your opponent and six, this card destroys itself. Then we have Shield and Sword. Uh, polymerization, obviously needed for Baby Dragon. Then we have Release Restraint for Gifrit. And as you saw, we didn't run the bigger Gifrit because um, if you saw the video with, I think, Yugi, we put all these situational monsters in the extra deck. 
Let me get to the data. So then we have Roulette Spider. This is how he won against Esperoba. And we have three equip spells. Look very similar. We have Salamandra, uh, Lightning Blade, and Dragon Soul Blade. And we have the Claw of Hermos. Obviously, we play the um, uh, Oricalcos stuff too. And then the last spell is the graceful dice and with that we can already go to the trap so the first trap is the skull dice so this card's actually pretty iconic for joey look really cool to this day in my opinion just two little guys with those dice speaking of iconic we have the grave robber and this is actually pretty nice in this format because you just steal the dm staples from the grave so part of greed graceful charity monster reborn steal them use them for yourself so then we have metal morph as the next trap um, for the red eyes or just as an attack boost and we have the two magical arm shields so magical arm shield and the upgraded double magical arm shield and fairy box uh, everyone's favorite common card uh, if you watched any progression series yep when I was chained, and lastly we have drop off. So next up, we go to the extra deck, and we can start with the more like the, with the main monster cards that we put in the extra deck. So we have red eyes, black metal dragon. So this is, is the card that actually sparked the whole idea to put these cards in the extra deck because this card can only be summoned from the deck if you have a red eyes equipped with metal morph so if you draw this you cannot summon it anymore so this is just worse than a garnet then we have gifrit swordmaster and the legendary knight hermos so if you want to put those in the main deck uh, i would probably advise against this because we don't, don't even have like the spell card for it um I'll probably just put in the gift rate or just put them in the extra deck because it's a fun format. Nothing serious. For the fusion monsters, we have Flame Swordsman, we already saw that. We have the Thousand Dragons, so this is the Baby Dragon and the Time Wizard. And then you have Alligator Sword Dragon, this is the Baby Dragon and the Alligator Sword. And lastly, we have the four Hermos fusions. So the fusions of Joey are actually, in my opinion, the most versatile because these just need generic monsters. So this is Claw Farmers and the Warrior. This is also Claw Claw Farmers and the Warrior. This is a Dragon and Claw Farmers, and this is a Spellcaster and Claw Farmers. So that's the Joey Wheeler deck profile. Hope you enjoyed it. And see you guys next time.